So here's another art showcase I'll be doing. This time it's all about African animals. And some random stuff too. So this is a drawing I did of an African fish eagle, a large species of fish eagle, native to large bodies of rivers and lakes of Sub-Saharan Africa, South of the Sahara. You can tell these are fish eagles due to their yellow faces with their with the white feathering along with their black and chestnut colored feathers. Now along with their sharp beaks and talons, they have um, rough soles on their feet to help catch the slippery prey, which is this little unfortunate fish right over there. Now they, their diet doesn't entirely include fish, as they'll also eat waterfowl, insects, reptiles, carrion, frogs, and the occasional small mammal. And over here I drew this um, paw of a grizzly bear, and I did a banner of the saber slime from Slime Rancher 1 and 2. And over here, we have a baby regicolated giraffe, and, a, and in the middle is a western lowland gorilla. Now, despite gorillas being the largest of all the great apes, the western lowland gorilla is the smallest subspecies of gorilla. And like all gorillas, this, um, contrary to popular belief, and despite their large size, gorillas are actually gentle herbivores that sometimes supplement their diet with insects and and unless they're revoked, they will attack and pound their chest as a form of defense. They live in large troops led by a mature male silverback, which you can tell by the line of silvery gray hair that is seen on the male's back. And the final animal I'm going to showcase is the mantle gorilla. Um, I'm going to give you a close-up from the head to the tail area right over here. Now, the mantle gorilla is so named because of the mantle of long white fur that runs along the back of this animal. And these guys live in the rainforest and tropical woodlands of eastern and central Africa. Now, these animals aren't born black and white. The babies are, believe it or not, um, actually pure white. The black and white patterning doesn't come until they're after prior to one to three months of age. And these guys are frugivores that will also supplement clay for their diets. And much like a cow, these primates have um, four chambered stomachs to break down the plant matter that they eat. And that's what I have for African.